Dear Australia, it has been a while since I left you, but there is a lot I would like to tell you. It feels like yesterday when I arrived to Sydney and went with Honza from the airport to Norton Beaches. I was out after a long flight, so I quite didn't realize that I am really on the other side of the world. It would sound like a dream yet a couple of years ago. To be honest, I really didn't know what I should think of your biggest city at the very beginning. Well, to see the two biggest barrels of yours shining during the night was definitely one of the best first impressions that got me in my life. And walking down to Darling Harbour, that is really something to remember. And the feeling of Northern Beaches is something I haven't experienced before. I mean, when I slept on DUI for the first time and walked to the toilet with a huge butt up my head, settled down on the tree right next to my van. The connection of humans with nature works perfectly and you should be proud of it. But you also showed me the real cost of life there, from the very first days until the end. You got me on my knees after so much of working without any free time, without the chance to do what I love. You showed me the feelings of despair, exhaustion when I was sitting next to my van tired with almost no hope. You showed me sadness and anger when one of my colleagues decided to leave this world by his own decision. I didn't know him very well, but we were the last people in his life who spent his last days with him. So you understand that it touched me a lot and I really hope that he can rest in peace in your universe. And I know that you suffered a lot. You suffered a lot too. Probably as never before when the earth decided to burn you all. I was there and believe me, all of us felt it with you. All of us have had the feelings for you and this terrible disaster will stay with us until the end of our lives. I'm so sorry for you but you are strong enough to make it and you will become much stronger after this. But I also want to thank you for all the good things you showed me. You really opened my eyes. I was desperate for adventure and freedom and you gave it to me when I lived my one life. I mean, sleeping and waking up anywhere I want to. You gave me the opportunity to meet an amazing people, work with them, travel with them all around the New South Wales. Přišli jsme v pravou dobu, počasí pře, užíváme si to tady, máme před svou krásný den. Halo. Vypět ty do p***a, když to rozbijem. <laughs>
showed me your amazing sunset and sunrises. You made me richer about knowledge of life and different culture than mine. And thanks to all of these different emotions, I lived and felt again after all those years because of you. Jaký bylo první surfování? Ale tak dobrý, ne? První den, první surfování. Jo. Ale jednou jsem měl po vlně, jakože I unfortunately had to go back home much sooner because of the coronavirus, but believe me, I do not regret it. You also learned me to value what I have got at home in my small beautiful country of Czechia. I did not see that before. You really opened my eyes and I owe you that. And please, take care of Honza. Because I wouldn't have this chance to meet you at all without him. We had so much fun making all these videos on his YouTube channel. Jelikož Vánoce jsou čas pohádek, já mám pro vás jednu pohádku o dvou jítrnicích, které se rozhodli odjet do Austrálie a být tady jako bezdomovci v autech. Já si chvíli musím promyslet ještě, co budu říkat teda. Sedu na to. Almost there. Last question. Can I get your number? <laughs> I don't think it works. <laughs> Last question. Will you marry me? <laughs> Not today! I guess I'm going to have some time without traveling, just like all of us. But we need a break. Our planet needs a break. I hope you will also handle this as best as you can and we will meet again one day. I'm already looking forward to see you. And dear Australia, 